Hi guys, it's I'm Zuck and today we are looking at photosynthesis. So the first, first thing that you have to know is the, both the word equation and the balanced chemical equation. So the reactants of photosynthesis are carbon dioxide and water. Now when they go through light energy, which is sunlight, they, the products of this are glucose and oxygen. So remember that carbon dioxide plus water goes to glucose and oxygen when exposed to light energy. So then the chemical equation, which you have to balance as well, is 6CO2 plus 6H2O, and then light energy turns that to C6H12O6, which is glucose, plus 6O2. So remember, every it's, it's not too hard. You just, as long as you know, carbon dioxide and water and oxygen, which are just CO2, H2O and O2, plus six at the start of them, each of them, so six on the other thing, you just have to know glucose, which is C6H12O6. Just remember that most of them have got six, but it's not, as long as you remember that, you will be fine. So where does photosynthesis actually happen? Well, the light energy is absorbed by chlorophyll, and this is a green substance that um, fills chloroplasts. And light energy used to convert carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil um, goes to glucose, which is stored as starch, and oxygen, which is a waste product. All right. So where we have to now think of the limiting factors of photosynthesis, which can limit the amount of photosynthesis that is able to happen. And uh, some examples of this may be light intensity, availability of water, availability of carbon dioxide, availability of chlorophyll, and temperature. So photosynthesis is controlled by enzymes, and these are denatured at temperatures above 40 degrees. So that's what you want. You want high temperatures because photosynthesis can happen uh, better. But however, if you go 40 degrees or over, these enzymes are denatured, so photosynthesis will decrease until it, there is no de uh, photosynthesis at all. So the ways that people make plants grow better is use greenhouses. They're more humid. You can add light, so you do like artificial lights for more light intensity. Um, you can also make the carbon dioxide levels higher. And this is the reason why greenhouses are used to, um, to have plants to grow, because it is perfect for them and photosynthesis, the rate of photosynthesis is higher. And as a result, you, you get more income from it, as long as you don't spend too much um, setting it all up. It's a good um, investment to make. But thank you, that's all from me today. Uh, can you please subscribe to my channel and keep on watching. See you and bye.